Ugh. Hey guys, what's up? <clears throat> Epic Beer Dude here. You're in my photo studio. Um, had a bunch of people over. Uh, well, not a bunch, just a few close friends over for uh, New Year's Eve, and we got in my studio and had some shenanigans with a bunch of balloons and some props and stuff. And we all wore like these onesie pajamas. So I told everybody that came over to my house for New Year's Eve um, that it was a onesie party. So everyone had their onesie on with their footsies and everything. Um, drinking and having a good time for New Year's Eve. I mean, you know, we got a little wild, but it wasn't a lot of us, so we kept it pretty mellow compared to um, other years when I threw big 5,000 person hotel parties and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> but it's 2012, it's January 2nd today. I believe it's the 2nd, yeah, it's Monday today. Um, first video of the year. I wanted to say thank you for everyone who subscribed. Um, Never thought, you know, I'd have people watching me on, consist on a consistent basis. Um, I know there aren't a lot of you, you know, I don't have a ton of subscribers or anything like that. Um, so the few that do take time to check in with me, see how I'm doing and stuff, uh, I just want to extend my appreciation and my thank you. Um, I'm, I'm a little different, of an acquired taste, I guess, if you will. Um, not your typical kind of homebrew dude or beer geek. Um, kind of dude, so uh, I'm like sort of that boutique, <laughs> uh, I guess, boutique channel. Um, but I, I really appreciate it. I'm also on this, um, I want to just show you guys this app. It's called Untapped. It's a mobile app. It's U-N-T-A-P-P-D with no E. I guess you can't see it from here, but it's a cool like little mobile app for the beer community, and you can check into your... Um, beers and show location with your GPS, check who's drinking what near you, um, and then win all sorts of fun badges and stuff like that. Like when I was on a beer crawl, um, I'm, Cal I'm from California, but when I went to Denver, I went on a beer crawl and I won a badge just for doing the Denver Great American Beer Fest um, beer crawl and, and, th and stuff like that. So. Um, cool little resource just to meet people, socialize about, you know, beer geeking and stuff like that. <clears throat> Thank you guys for all your, your subscribes, your uh, comments that you leave, the messages that you send me, um, the homebrew tasting offers, and uh, the Facebook friend ads. I'm on facebook.com slash jayavery, that's J-A-Y-A-V-E-R-Y. Um, on Untapped, I'm also jayavery, so J-A-Y last name, A-V-E-R-Y, um, and that's where you can find me on Untapped as well. Um, and if you guys, you know, live in San Diego and you guys go out to Stone, or you live in Temecula and you go out to uh, Black Market or even the Yard House, um, you know, drop me a line, I'll cruise over and have some beers with you. Um, I do travel quite a bit too, uh, mostly on the West Coast, Denver, Vegas, Seattle, uh, Pacific Northwest, Portland, Albuquerque, Arizona, so if you guys are out there, um, shoot me a line and we'll, uh, you know, we'll hang out when I'm in town for a business trip or something. <clears throat> what I got today for you guys is by far my 2011 hardest to find beer um, of them all. It was becoming the course and Don Christmas. I was just hell on wheels trying to find that thing. But I finally found it when I did. It was really available everywhere. I mean, I could have bought a case if I wanted. I nearly did. I think I bought it. I guess a case of 750s is 12, and I think about 8 of those. But this one here is Kern River Brewing's Citra Double IPA. And this one was like mainly released to beer industry and just really special people, I guess. So um, when I found it, I was only allowed to take one, and it was one of the two that they had in like all of San Diego County and all of, you know, I guess south of Riverside County, which is in. Southern California. Um, we called the distributor and I offered her a hundred bucks to give me at least one more and she wouldn't because they only had like one left in the fridge or so they said. Um, they said that all their Citra double IP is all gone for this year. So I, I'm not sure of the AV, ABV because I'm kind of just doing this on the cusp. I didn't do any research or anything. Mm, I'm gonna assume it's around 10 but I'll uh I'm going to double sure and I'll put that in the info section if you guys are interested. This is Kern River um, in Kernville, California, but I guess near the Sierras or I think there's some, I don't know, Wild Rapids up there or something like that. I, I don't know too much about that area, but I know that this was 
a freaking hard beer to find. So I'm really interested. I did want to just hold on to it. Um, but you know, us on the West Coast, we've got to drink the double IP. It's fresh. Um, so this is about as old as this should ever get right now. Um, you know, open it up and throw it in the glass and let you know how, uh, how it fares. It's really up, living up to the hype. I can already smell it. I think it's um, I think it's brewed with uh, ba 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 citron amarillo hops, uh, and dry hopped with citron amarillo as well. It looks like um, you other geeks can correct me if I'm wrong, but um, ah, it pours more more of a straw color than I expected. I expected it a little darker, so it pours a little um, really light. Uh, Hail Bay. I got my beauty dish over here, so I'm gonna throw it up to the light and really check it out. Yeah, it's got that golden kind of farmhouse saison sort of sort of color to it. Um, really tight eggshell off white um, satin sort of head there. Uh, a lot of tiny bubbles surrounded with a lot of um, loose, loosely uh, knit. Bigger bubbles in the middle, medium sized bubbles in the middle. Nice two finger head on there and this big uh, wine glass that I got. <sighs> wow, you really gotta appreciate the Citra Hop. Um, my, I've been trying to make a double IPA here, um, but neither the home brewer in San Diego, the home brew supply in San Diego, Ballast Point, or American Home Brew Supply, or the guy over here in Marietta, neither of them have had citrus. Citra hops for the entire year. They said the breweries pretty much bought them out, um, and I can't find them online, and it's just a bitch to find. So you gotta really appreciate the tropical fruit notes in here. Um, it's it's sublime. Um, okay, so let me get to. I just want to keep smelling this all day. I mean, I can I could use this as air freshener in my car. This is fantastic. It's got. Um, overly ripe uh, apricot flesh, um, uh, um, tangerine uh, skins there, and green underripe mangoes coming through in the nose. Just a magnificent, magnificent nose. Um, I'm talking like you're walking through um, a kumquat field, and that whole, the whole essence of just a mix and medley of tropical goodness. You even got a little bit of uh, tartness in there, like almost like um, a tart raspberry or something um, coming through in the nose. Really good lacing that the big bubbles have subsided and, and turned into a really just satin looking, silky, sexy fucking beer. Um, lacing is, is clinging to the glass. Um, now you've got that hazy sunset, uh, kind of even you've got a little bit of blood red hues on the on the sides where where it meets the bottom of the, the glass there. You've got a little effervescence coming through, just a stream of little like a like a fish tank aquarium stream right up the middle of the glass, um, just keeping that head alive. It's dissipated now to about a one finger head from a two finger head, but now it doesn't look like it may get any smaller than that because that that stream of bubbles coming out of the top, just keeping that cap on there. Fantastic, fantastic look. Amazing, phenomenal smell. Let's get into it, guys. Oh yeah. So, the double IPA is apparent. It's got a hot bomb right in the front, but as it as it comes down through the palate, right before the throat, you get this whole tropical environment. Um, here's what I can best describe it to. Last year, I went to Hawaii, my girlfriend and I, um, and we ate out of these frozen, hollowed out pineapples. And what they did is they hauled it out and they took the flesh and mixed it with a bunch of like um, uh, cherries and and some 
flavored uh, tropical rum, some Jamaican rum, really sweet dark rum, I think, and some a little bit of if you guys know what Myers are, just a sweet dark rum in there. And they put that back in the mango with the flesh and all, and um, and they put some blue caracal. I think they made like a blue Hawaiian out of a frozen hollowed out pineapple. Um, this taste and smells just brings me back to that time in Hawaii. It just it's sort of like a time capsule beer where um, it puts me back into a place. It just opens up my imagination and brings me back into a tropical um, environment, which is really cool. Um, and the taste, again, that hot bomb, that tropical runs through the through, through the tongue. You got a big grapefruit finish. It's just a medium body, really easy drinking. Not a, you know, it's not one of those those palate killers that you expect from a lot of West Coast double IPAs. This is a really smooth, again, that apricot, that tangerine, that pineapple, that green mango, um, those 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 the the fleshy sort of kumquat qualities, that grapefruit finish, um, dynamic beer. Uh, this is really good. We're, we're drinking this at about 55 degrees, so um, it, it's got all the flavors that I expected it to have open up a little bit, and then you get that really just orangey, orange, sweet orange peel um, on the aftertaste. So, this is an easy A, guys. Um, Citra Double IPA. Now, What's funny is it doesn't have any piney notes that I expected. It's super tropical, but um, I expected to have a little bit of piney notes from the Amarillo, but um, that Citra hop is definitely dominating, and thus the title. Kern River. Citra, double IPA. And I said this beer's all about the hops on the label. <clears throat> so you guys need a hold of this. It gets an A from me, Epic Beer Dude here. Um, stick to your goals this year. I'm going to try to just kind of calm down. I've been a little crazy with the drinking lately, especially after I got into the beer scene. Ugh. So I'm gonna chill out a little bit, maybe bring you ugh, down to like a once a week, a week beer review. But again, like I said in 2012, I'm just gonna just gonna put the whole thing on the back burner a little bit. Maybe come in once a week with some really like hard to find beers in my area. Maybe do that and. Um, and Concentrate a little bit more on my health and, and uh, maybe you'll see less of me in the future. <clears throat> so, alright guys, cheers 2012, good luck with everything and uh, we'll talk to you soon. See you guys.